Oh, so Dinwiddie and I were working a couple springs. We worked one up over there, and there's a horse trough and a well, but there wasn't much over there. Just started over here, and look what I got. Piece of wood burning stove. So, might be in the right place. Does that look like the door to you guys? Dang. I mean, it's definitely the door to something. So there really ain't much going on around here. Find a roof and nails. I did find a cellar hole. Almost nothing around it. But this is a really ornate sash buckle. Isn't that cool? Let me uh, brush it up a little. I don't know if I got it that much cleaner, but I'm not pretty fired up about that. That was a lot of work. We've been at this for a couple hours, couldn't find the place. Of course, we just have our metal detectors and intuition because there's nothing to find. You know, there's no building, there's no foundation. So that's a win in my book. And we just got a garter clip. It's not far from where I got the sash. There's something in the middle there, maybe. I think there's some writing there. Yeah. I think there's a little something in there. It says you suck. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a while to find anything. <laughs> hey, but we found a site. Hey, we found a site. This is a site. In the middle of nowhere with <laughs> no real clues that it's here. <laughs> Well, that's a neat piece of iron. You know, I got this exact uh, hook a few hunts ago, but this top part wasn't on it. I got one that says big uh, suspender button that says big two Cincinnati. So Dinwiddie had to take off. So I'm just doing a little clean up, see what uh, else there is. I got a little more time. It's cool. Well, you can see what amazing grazing land this is. So that's where I just was. Those trees up there, there's like a little spring. We actually started over here. But man, these people must have had either nothing or they just weren't here very long because there was not much to find. And I doubt anybody's ever found this. We barely found it, so. Hey, stay tuned though. I'm sure I'll, uh, Throw another hunt on here. So, I've been detecting around this old homestead for quite a while. <laughs> Not a lot here. I think it's been hit hard. Um, I got a nickel. I got so excited. And then <laughs> it ended up being a Jefferson. It is an old one, though, 1947. Yeah, and they were probably here into the 50s or something. So, now if this is left, maybe there'll be something else. Let's see what we can get. So I decided to uh, check out the river bank next to it, hoping nobody had hit it. Just started. Here's a... I don't know. I wonder if it's like... Off an old belt? Like a child, children's belt? It's definitely like a little sheriff's badge or something. That's really neat. You know, I don't usually like digging these sites that are so obvious because everybody hits them. But... Uh, I think the key is, you know, hoping that you can <laughs> think of a spot somebody hasn't been. Well, that's not sterling, but it's a spoon. I'm starting to get stuff now. I'm getting a little ways away from the house on this bank. Yeah, a little buckle piece. Dang. All right, we might be onto a spot no one hit. Well, I don't know what that is for sure. Kind of looks like half of a bell. Huh. Well, there's an iron buckle that I just sighted with my eyes. Well, it looks like part of a clock gear or something. So I'm kind of working the hill between the house and the river. Looks like I got me a little army button. I think this is one of those underwear buttons it's a little rough but i think i see the stars 
And I think I see the word army. Awesome. So I decided to go for a little hike <laughs> because I saw this. Um, it's getting a little bored of the other place. I'll probably go back there. I still have another hour or two, but I went exploring and I was using my binoculars and I saw this rock feature up on top of this mountain here. And I didn't even bring my metal detector because I, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if this was going to be like a burial mound or what. I'm kind of inclined to think it was a chimney. I don't know. You guys think it is. I think I've given up the idea that it's a burial mound. It could be a marker of some kind. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to get a pick of the backside. Gunner doesn't think much of it. I don't know. Maybe somebody was just bored. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a lot of work. That's the backside. And I don't see like any activity really around here. I do, I do kind of think maybe, maybe it was used as, you know, some sort of a chimney. I don't know. Like I say, it's on top of a ridge. See, nowhere. <laughs> you gotta hike back to the car. So I was thinking I might as well tell you that uh, I found a, or I saw a bear on my way up here. That was awesome. Gunner was running in front of the car like he likes to do. And we were in this really tight spot next to the river. And he was clear ahead of me. And all of a sudden, right next to me, I heard some rumbling in the bushes. And a bear popped out. Ran right next to the car. Down the road behind me. And, of course, I wanted to get it on video for you guys. But... By the time I had my camera, he was up on top of the hill looking down at me, and well, these GoPros are not very good at the long shot, so I thought, ah, not even worth it. But yeah, I feel like anytime I see a bear in the woods, that's a pretty fun day out. Especially when it happens like that, where I'm not in any kind of danger. Well, there's a second building here by the river. These aren't very far apart. Boy, that's got like a mud roof or something weird on top of there. Um, I'm going to try their river bank on this one too. See what happens. I got a coin sun bacon right here. What is it? <laughs> Another regular nickel. Let's see if this one's old. Nope, that's a 75. Well, the, the river bank didn't work below that one, but I'm back up in the field. Just got a little buckle. Well, I got one of those little two-hole buttons. Boy, that sure sounded like it was going to be a Indian head penny, of course. Looks like I found me a little bale seal. It says U.S. And what's the number on the back? Eight. <laughs> so... <laughs> That building was starting to smell a lot like skunk, so I found just some, you know, random junk in a, the field, pretty close to there. And I haven't been here very long. It's almost dark. But I'm just trying so hard to get something good. Oh my gosh, it's a zinc penny. <laughs> I thought I had an Indian. Oh, what a heartbreak. Well, it was a fun day. Didn't go quite as well as I planned. Did get a few nice things though. Had an adventure. So, don't know if I'm adding one to the end of this or not. So, either stay tuned or see you on the next one.